What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I got a good video for you. We're going to show you how to speed up your WordPress website or blog by using three plugins. It'll speed this thing up about 40%. And I've got another little tool that I'm going to show you as well. So stick around. We'll be right back in just a few seconds. guys welcome back to the channel my name is Kevin Laner with freedommotivator.com and uh, if this is your first time here possibly um, uh, or if you've been here before you know also that we do videos on how to videos um, anything to do with making money videos affiliate marketing videos and uh, general uh, value videos and once in a while we'll throw in a uh, motivational video for you too Alrighty, and uh, also if this is your first time here, and if you've been here already and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, reach down there below and hit that subscribe button so you get uh, subscribed to the channel and don't forget to click the bell so you get notified of when we upload new videos, which we do pretty regularly here. Okay? Alright guys, with that out of the way, we're going to get into today's video. Uh, the video today, I wanted to show you a uh, some tools that will help you speed up your WordPress website or blog. Uh, there's three specific plugins that'll uh, that are good for this, and uh, I'm going to show you another tool that you can use to measure that, and so you can see the difference. Okay, all right. So uh, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right on in on this, and uh, we're going to come over here uh, to uh, uh, your. You want to make sure that you log into your uh, your WordPress uh, backend. All right, in your WordPress office. And it takes a moment to load up here. Uh, excuse me just a second. I'm going to switch over to my uh, other uh, channel here, my other screen. Take just a second here. There we go. So, all right, now <clears throat> we're into our uh, WordPress back office. Now, one of the, uh, there's three plugins that uh, you need to uh, get. Uh, that'll help speed up your WordPress blog uh, about uh, or website about 35 to 40 percent faster. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, you can come to this website over here. Um, it's uh, Google. I'll, I'll put it up here where you see it highlighted here. It's developers.google.com uh, forward slash speed forward slash page speed. Uh, forward slash insights. See that up there at the upper left there? Come to this page and you can put your website's URL in and uh, like you see I've done mine here and I've already ran this test on mine. Now when I ran this test before I put these plugins in it was it, my, my uh, rating was 81. Which if you see the legend right down here the legend scale right here says if it's in between 90 and 100, it's considered fast loading, your website is. If it's between 50 and 89 um, um, uh, numbers, it's average. And of course, if it's between 0 and 49 and it's red, it's slow. You see this is green. I'm in 93, so I'm right into the fast range. And there's a, uh, a little... Uh, a. Uh, thing of my uh, website there. You can see a little picture of it right there. That's the front page of my website. Alright, but what you do is bring your, uh, come over here to Google Page Speed Insights, put your uh, URL of your website in there, click Analyze, and it'll give you a readout of uh, what, how fast your website loads. Okay? Because everybody knows, you know, if you're in business such as me and you're like in a market, an affiliate marketer like me or you're you're, uh, you have your website blog and you're doing affiliate marketing on your blog, um, you want your website to load fast because it's a known statistic that if your, web your website takes anywhere between anywhere to seven to eight seconds to load, 
uh, it's a good chance that your customer or your your visitor is going to leave your website and probably never come back because it's too slow loading and they don't want to wait for it. I mean, let's face it, every guy, let's face it, guys. <laughs> We're a microwave society, right? And we want what we want, and we want it right damn now, okay? <laughs> and that's just the way the way it is with everybody. I mean, you know, I like a fast-loading site myself, too, rather than sit there and let it load. But if it's something I really want to see, then I don't mind sitting there and waiting a few extra seconds for it to load myself. But not everybody's like me, you know. But anyways, uh, so come here, and you can measure your site to start with. And then... What if it's if it's in the red or it's in the uh, yellow and you want to speed it up or even in the green there's some things you can can do too like even on mine it's 93 if you look down here uh, there's a spot right here that I was lagging just a little bit you see it in the orange right there uh, and it has to do with the uh, first meaningful paint measure in other words that's the first thing that loads up on your website as it loads so it's just a little bit behind right there they're saying but the rest of it seems to be pretty good uh, and then this stuff down here uh, I think is related to what this is talking about right here but yeah you can uh, Google will help you and show you how to tweak these things and make your website even faster even better but get your initial reading first if, if it's in you know in the orange or the red come back to your website and you want to get these three plugins I loaded these three plugins up on my website and it raised it from 81 in the yellow up to uh, 93, which you see it now there. All right, so the first one you want to get is right here. It's called Auto Optimize. All right, how do you get that? Well, you come over here to uh, in your thing and you go to Plugins and you click Add New Plugin. Add New Plugins. Click on that and that loads up the... Uh, the plugins uh, uh, add new plugins thing here, and there's tens of thousands of them here. I'm sure you know this, uh, but then you just click over here and you just type in auto uh, optimize, auto optimize. Uh, if I'd spell it right, I'd get this thing right here, I guess. And then uh, give it a moment to load here, and then you see it's right here. It's a really popular. Uh, uh, plug-in it's over 800,000 active installations right now and you see out of 743 reviews it's got about a four and a half star rating there so that's a pretty good plug-in uh, but you want to get this auto optimize uh, install it and activate it right there and it'll put it uh, it'll put it up here on your on your uh, back office and your admin here on the uh, WordPress and then uh, also, that's the first one you want to get. And then the second one you want to get is called uh, Image Image. Uh, let's see here. I got it down. Uh, smush. I'm sorry. Uh, smush Image Compression. It should come up there. I think. If I can smell it right out. Spell it right here. I'll do good. Smush, smush, smush image com, uh, compression. And there, there, whoops. Bring that back. It was there. There it is. <laughs> and I keep messing with it. Okay, anyways, it's smush uh, image compression and optimization. <clears throat> it's it, Now, these are free plugins. And then, of course, you know, 98% uh, of these plugins, they have a paid version, right? But the, uh, the free version works well enough to get the job done, okay? So you want to install this here. This is the free version. Uh, and what this does is this thing will compress your images on your site because, let's face it, most things that take a long time to load on your website are all graphics and images. They always load last. For example, if you're, you, may, you, you go to Facebook, for example, sometimes your images won't load up till a little bit later after the text is loaded. If you've ever noticed that on like Facebook um, that doesn't have to do with anything of your speedier internet service or anything that has to do with the the actual uh, the way uh, Facebook is uh, uh, optimized their uh, CSS and their coding on their website to cause it to load up in your browser so <clears throat> it's the same thing here 
this program, Smush Image Compression, will compress the images down and make them smaller so they load quicker when your browser is loaded up. Okay? So you want to get this program and install it and then activate it and then it puts it over here, uh, right down here, and then you click on it. Now these, these programs, <clears throat> you can tweak the settings on them and uh, uh, work with them a little bit and, and see what you like best. But I found that just the general, the general default settings and then just let it be at the default settings seem to work pretty good. And uh, now I've got, uh, I've already smushed my, uh, my images down here and saved about 138.5 kilobytes of space or load time, I suppose, uh, on this. So this is, and you can do that and you can come uh, to settings here and uh, it's got uh, a few settings here, not, not many, but a few here and you can just uh, look around at these and stuff. Uh, but uh, also... Um, you get that you get this one installed there's another one the next one that you need to install is called uh, I'll get this written down here it's called uh, w3 w3 total cache so if we come back to plugins to add new and we click and we type in here w3 uh, total cache give that a moment to load here All right here it is now yeah. w3 total cache this one here has been installed or it's in, got active installations of over 1 million plus so that's a good indication that it's a it's a pretty good program which it is now there's 4,000 over 4,000 reviews here of and it's four and a half stars so that's pretty doggone good uh, so get this program, W3 Total Cache, install it, activate it, and it puts it over here under Performance. And if you see, as I come over here, out comes from the right, you've got your dashboard, you've got general settings, and so on and so forth, all the way down through here. Now, with this program, I just left everything at the default and made sure, I come into general settings on it, and made sure that this one right here, Page Cache, make sure that that is checked. And enable that one right there in your page cache method leave this at disk enhanced or disk all right and then make sure if it isn't check that box make sure this is set to disk enhanced okay and then click save the settings all right don't worry about emptying out the cache or anything just click save the settings and then that plug-in is pretty much all the way set now there are plenty of other tweaks that you can you can play with down through here but I find uh, myself that uh, the default settings, which you see some of these are checked, are the default uh, settings the way it defaulted. Uh, maybe yours may default differently, I don't know, but uh, that uh, default settings seem to work pretty good. Okay, so uh, just do that and then make sure you click, uh, make sure you click save the setting if you have to check that, and that'll save it, and then you're good to go. And then once you get that all saved in, and then go ahead and log out of your uh, your WordPress site, and then uh, once you're logged out, go ahead and come over and load your your WordPress site so it get, it gets some cached files going. Okay, you want to if if you if you happen to click the clear cache or you've cleared the cache out of your your site, go ahead and load it so it gets some cached files in there. Okay, and as you see how quick that loaded right there, and then you can click around on some of your links in the on your website just to get some cached files in the background there in the back end, and then uh, come back over here to Google, put your URL back in here, your ad or domain for your website, and then click analyze and see if it doesn't improve your uh, your overall score here. Okay, <clears throat> this should improve your score quite a bit. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, you don't see much of a difference, maybe just a little bit. You can always come back, log back in, go back in, and you can tweak the settings with, uh, with the uh, uh, W3 Total Cache and the Auto Optimize. Tweak those settings in there and then come back and keep tweaking and testing until you see it. You, you can get it about as high as you can get it. 
So anywhere between 90 and 100 is good, right? That means your site loads up pretty quick. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys today. But I got one other thing I want to show you here. Now, on uh, you're you're going to want to another powerful thing. This will help speed up your website about 50 to 70 percent. If you want your website to be faster, you're gonna you're gonna want to take a look at this. I want you to come over to my channel. If you're not if you're watching this off the uh, the side. Uh, videos that you clicked on because you saw my video along the side in the suggested videos come back come over to my channel uh, freedom motivator channel and uh, come down to where you see this this video right here you see where my arrows at it says what is CDN CDN free and why you need it you need to get your website on a CDM network okay that's all I'm going to tell you Get your website on a CDN network. You want to know more about it, come over here and watch this video that I made right here. We'll tell you all about it and why you need to get your website on there because it'll speed it up 50 to 70% even more than those plugins just did. Okay? All right, so guys, that's what I wanted to share with you today, a way to speed up your, web, your WordPress uh, website. And if you got any value out of this video and it helped you out a little bit, uh, reach down and give me a thumbs up if you would. And also, uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to see my number one uh, top-rated business, if you're uh, looking to start a business of your own, click the link down there in my description where it says mentorwithkev.com. And you'll get over $3,600 worth of bonuses uh, to check that thing out. If you read the description, you'll find out a little bit more about that. All right, guys. And there's other videos down there uh, that you can check out that will help you out as well. And there's plenty of more videos on my channel here as well. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you again here in a couple days on the next video. All right. You guys have a great day. See you later now. Bye-bye.